I'm back after like three weeks. Um, I didn't mean to take so long, but um, yeah, I've just been feeling kind of unmotivated with this whole quarantine thing and my sleep schedule has been completely backwards. I've been up all hours of the night sometimes and then sometimes sleeping all hours of the day and being in a room with no windows, I never know what time of day it is. And I usually never know what day of the week it is. So apologies on this late um, vlog. So I kind of mentioned it in the vlog where I talked about my trip to Mexico, um, where I would do a vlog based on why solo travel is so great and why I love it so much. So, um, yeah, here we go. One, um, you get to make your own agenda. So if you're going with other people, you have to keep those people in mind, um, and kind of take their, um, what they want to do into consideration as well. Whereas if you're solo traveling, it's just you get to do what you want to do and you don't have to worry about pleasing anyone else um, because you're just traveling by yourself so you're just doing what you want to do and not what your friends want to do or your significant other although I think if you find the right significant other who likes to travel the way you do then it's fine um, it's like a whole other topic though number two um, it kind of forces you to be to step out of your comfort zone and kind of come out of your shell a little bit so when you stay in hostels, you're by yourself and it kind of forces you to talk to people you wouldn't normally talk to. Um, because if you were with friends, obviously you would just stay with your friend and hang out at the hostel and um, you're more likely to have, um, to meet new friends and make new friends and um, have like, cr like, not crazy, but just like more, exciting travel experiences when you're on your own meeting other solo travelers and other people um, and making friends on your own and you can surprise yourself and a lot of people that I've met while I've traveled I wouldn't have met if I wasn't by myself and I'm so grateful for every single person I've met on my solo journeys like it's I you just connect with the right people and it makes your trip so much more fun Three, speaking of agenda, um, you don't have to have one. <laughs> you, and actually I think that's the best thing about solo travel is don't plan anything. Because if you were to plan, let's say in advance you planned like to stay in hostel for two nights and then you planned this outdoor excursion the next day. But then in the hostel you meet these really cool people on the second day when you're supposed to leave and they're like, we're going um, like to this island and said you should come and you're like, oh, I can't, I already have something booked. That's why it's always best to um, book things as you go along and not plan. So um, having no agenda is the best agenda. And sometimes that's hard if you're not traveling by yourself. I swear I had like, 10 reasons why solo travel is so great and now I can't even think of any <laughs> going along the lines of like stepping outside your comfort zone and stuff um when you're by yourself like navigating in a foreign country it, it gives you a sense of independence first of all um and you learn a lot about yourself in the process and you kind of feel like a kid again like you have no idea what people are saying and like you have to learn how to act in a different country and and learn new behaviors and and how things work and it's all so amazing and wonderful and if you're and usually like while you're traveling solo you'll want to see what the locals do and how they live whereas with if you're with like friends or something they usually want to stay at like a resort or, you know, safe places. Um, not not to say that like seeing locals is dangerous, but a lot of people think of it that way. I think it's a very good way to learn about yourself. Um, 
so I get like very introspective and I turn inwards sometimes and I'll just like sit there like if I'm on a beach or something and just like really think about like what I've learned and what I've learned about myself and um, how traveling the world solo is a way better teacher than school would ever be like <laughs> everything I've learned in my life I attribute to travel like I've learned way more through traveling than I ever have in a classroom or through a textbook why can't you get a degree in travel like hey you've had this many experiences sweet you have a bachelor's degree because you have enough life experience <laughs> to you know do what someone else does with a bachelor's experience a bachelor's degree gosh don't even know what I'm saying anymore um I can't even remember like there's just so many benefits to solo travel you should google it so good and um if you're worried about um being a solo female traveler don't worry <laughs> i am like just at five two i'm really small um i do carry with me like a pocket knife but i've never had to use it i've never felt in danger um well there was one time and i was in hawaii actually but it wasn't like i've never felt in danger in like in Thailand when I was there for a month by myself. There's this group called Girls Love Travel and it helps, yeah, female solo travelers, gives them tips, um, and like you're, you kind of feel like you're the only one, or your, your parents might, and they're like, are you crazy? Don't do that. But there are so many female travelers in the world, and just solo travelers in general, and you just have to be smart and you know, keep your eyes open and just have common sense. Like, don't get wasted and get blistering drunk and trust a stranger to take you home at night or something. I think if you're just smart and, you know, you're just aware of things, then, like, you're going to be fine. Um, there's really nothing to worry about. But if anyone is thinking about solo travel and they have questions for me, you can ask them below. I'll be happy to answer because um, yeah travel is one of my greatest passions I wish I could like just get paid to travel and talk about it <laughs> speaking of travel I won't be doing any of it lately because of this whole um, yeah thing going on um, but I do have a one-year visa that I have to use by the end of this year um, and it's for Australia so I'll be there for a year by myself um, doing a working holiday visa and I've never done that before but it's like one of my childhood dreams so I have to do it. So that'll be another huge experience and then I plan on skipping over to New Zealand after that and doing the same thing for a year. Just gotta get that side of the earth like checked off because I, it's always been a place that I've wanted to explore my entire life. I don't know, I've just always been drawn to that part of the map. I'm sure I will come up with so many more tips and tricks during that time. I have no idea what I was going to say. You and you're having like a, just a foggy brain day. That's what's happening right now. I was just sitting here thinking about like other reasons why I love solo travel and it all comes back to like just the connections you make with people and how much you learn about yourself and how much it forces you to open up and and be vulnerable you come to trust these strangers they become like your your best friends i feel like solo travelers kind of find each other you know because you see someone else alone and you're like oh you're traveling alone too and then there's this instant bond because you're both exploring an unknown part of the world by yourself and you can both share in that experience. Yeah, it's just so wonderful and I highly, highly recommend that you solo travel at some point in your life. Like go backpacking, get a backpack and go somewhere for a month and don't plan too much, just 
when I planned when I went like for when I, when I went to Thailand, the only thing I I had planned was like I'm gonna go south, and then I'm gonna go north, and that's all I had planned. Like I didn't oh, and I booked my first hostel like for when I flew and landed so that I wouldn't be stranded. But that's all I booked and that's all I planned, and then all the rest like I just went with the flow because I met people, and had the best I had time of my life. So. This is probably going to be a really short vlog this week. Um, I promise the next one will be more exciting. I already know what I'm going to vlog about and I'm so stoked about it because it's honestly one of my favorite days of the year in like two days. April 1st. So, um, that's a hint for what the next vlog will be about. Should I get TikTok? Ooh. What are those TikTok dance moves? Should I learn some? I mean, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> My roommates must think I'm so weird.